so I thought that this would be better lighting and I also wanted to switch up the rooms this is um, kind of my second closet as you can see um, right here but it's mainly now being used as you can see over here for all of my dorm stuff that we bought and I just wanted to take some time now to do a haul it's kind of a collective haul. Most of the stuff I got within this week. And there's like two or three items that I did purchase um, a couple weeks ago that I didn't have a chance to put in. So I'm going to go through the kind of older stuff that I didn't really haul before. So, And this is none of like the stuff is dorm related. If you want me to do a video on the stuff that I bought for college... I can certainly do that, but if not, then I'll probably just scratch that idea. So this phone case I got at Five and Below, which I absolutely love that store, and it has a lot of cheap stuff. It's obviously all five dollars, and this was five dollars, and then the tax it was five thirty. So it's really cute. It um, it just has this hard case and I like how it's like sandwiched in which is nice and the only downside is that some of the rhinestones are coming off but you can barely tell where they are it's not like chunks of them are coming off so I thought this was a really good deal and it has been keeping my phone really safe but the only thing I don't like about it is that it's really hard to get off I haven't tried to get it off because I think it's way too hard and it's like stuck on but I'll see how long this lasts me until, like, it gets kind of weird or destroyed that I don't want to use it. And then I'll tell you how long it lasts. The next thing that I got a couple of weeks ago was actually these sunglasses. I think they're so cute. I got them at a little boutique near my house. And they're, like, these. They're kind of like cat eye. I wore these a ton because I just got back from the beach. I don't know if you can tell from the lighting that I got tanner because the lighting is kind of not accurate. Now it's the cords not coming. Okay. This is like probably the most accurate. Yeah. This is better lighting. I don't know if this is slanted because it's on towels right now. Okay. So this is more of an accurate lighting, I guess. The other one was really bright. So sorry about that. The next thing that I got like two weeks ago when I got my new there's hair in my mouth when I got the new Mac that I'm filming on is this laptop case I think it's adorable I think it was like 30 or 40 dollars it wasn't too pricey and it's orange and the back is solid orange and it has like a really nice kind of furry texture inside and I absolutely love this case. I think I'm going to get another one, though, because my aunt has to give me a graduation gift. And and she thought that it would be a good thing to get me um, a laptop case. So I have another one that, that's in my head that I kind of had my eye on for a little bit. Anyway, getting into the more recent purchases within the past week, I have been doing a lot of shopping, which means I won't be doing a lot anymore this month. Probably not until August. And... I've just gone through a lot of money and it's really bad. So the first thing I got was this Ultra Lift. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen this in a ton of my videos. It's just the Garnier and it's the Eye Lift, like eye cream. I ran out of my other one, so I thought I would repurchase it because I know it probably doesn't do a lot because I'm younger and it doesn't really need that much effect on me because my eyes aren't that like droopy or whatever. So I don't know, but I just like it a lot, and it kind of come became a routine in my um, kind of like day-to-day -day life, I guess, kind of skincare routine too, so I thought that that was really um, kind of important to have, and then, sorry, I was like recharging it, because my, my battery's about to die, anyway, these shorts, I went to PacSun. My mom got me two pairs of shorts and two pairs of jeans for the fall, which I really adore. They're so cute. These are bullhead, and as you can, may or may not be able to tell, they have these ripped, like, kind of destroyed look to it, and they're super white. 
I love white shorts, especially in the summer because they make you look so much tanner. And um, I got these in a size double zero because that's what size I wear because I'm super tiny. And I really like them. They don't have any embellishments and bullhead seem to actually fit me really well. This is the first time I actually kind of tried on bullhead. I usually just go with Hollister shorts and Hollister like jegging kind of jeans. And then these are the second bullhead. They are really cute. And they're just a double fold, um, double fold shorts. And they're really plain. They don't have much kind of added on to them. And I don't know. They're just kind of like normal, chill, nice shorts to wear whenever. And I got two bullhead jeans, which I really liked a lot. These were... These were the new ones because they actually, these are really long and obviously I'm going to need them, get, need them to be hemmed, but these are the bullheads and these are the zero regular, I guess, because they didn't have double zero in jeans. Well, I was like a zero in jeans, a double, double zero in shorts, which was really weird, but because they got tighter on my thighs and that's basically why. These have a cool design on the back. They're just really dark. I love dark washes. And these are the slim boot cut. So the lady said they just got them in like this season and that they're a newer thing. And they're like boot cut, but they're more girly because boot cuts seem to be kind of just like not really slimming and stuff. So then the second pair I got was the skinniest. And these are kind of like faded in um, kind of the center and faded on the butt. But then the butt has these designs, kind of like the last one. And these are really cool because they're super skinny. They're kind of like jeggings, and they're really comfy because they're stre stretchy as well. Getting on to more beauty products and skincare products. Um, this I did get a while ago along with two other mini like lotions. One was an apple one, another one I forget what it was. But this is Sweet Pea. It smells so good, and I really haven't used it at all since I bought it but that's from Bath and Body Works and then I got another pair of sunglasses but I don't have those to show you and I got an SE top coat this week and I've been using that on the nails that I just did I don't know if you can see but they're all I just use a plain pink plain silver and two different kind of sparkles so yeah I don't know if you can really see them I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, if you want me to tell you which kind, which colors they are, you can probably just find me on Instagram because I already have them, um, the colors and stuff shown. And yeah, so that would just make that easier. Now, everything I bought this week, um, the first thing I bought that was kind of like one of the more expensive things for just one product was the airbrush like Sally Hansen it's this I've heard so much about this on YouTube especially from like YouTube gurus that are like really like Miss Glamorazzi I guess that's her name or something but um it's the deep glow leg makeup for tan to deep skin tones and honestly I put this on I couldn't tell at all because I am so tan right now that it doesn't even make a difference so I was thinking of saving this actually for the winter time and using it then um even though it just says leg brush I did use it on my arms because what's the difference between your legs and your arms not nothing really and if I wanted to put on my legs why wouldn't I want to be just this tan on my arms so it looks more natural the next thing I got were these wipes I am in love with the love and beauty by forever 21 their makeup wipes the difference between theirs is they do keep moist even though you wouldn't expect it because it doesn't have the plastic covering, but they also are so much towel-like. It's kind of crazy when you think about it, but these work so well. I got them in lavender this time, and it comes with 30, and they're only 280, which is like twice as cheap compared to drugstore ones that you end up buying that only have 25 in them. The next big thing I got was at the... Derm store. So I did a Derm store online purchase because I had $25 off of a $50 purchase or more. And 
It's this Juicy Beauty, this organics to clear skin, and it valued at $40, well, it valued at $55, but it ended up being $40, which I thought was a good deal to start with, but on top of it, it is a makeup kit, which I think is awesome, because, not a makeup kit, sorry, a skin kit, because I think I might be running out of my acne stuff, but my acne stuff was like $32 just for one bottle, so I thought that was kind of insane, so I thought I would go with, um just this um, kind of kit thing it comes with this blemish clearing cleanser which is um, two ounces so it's like the big well it's four fluid ounces actually so it's the biggest thing that comes in it which I think is the most important because it's just a cleanser and the next one is a blemish clearing serum and this is one fluid ounces which is still a decent amount because with the serum you don't really go through that much the next thing is this small thing, and it's a green apple peel sensitive, and it is 0 .5, 0 0.25 fluid ounces. So yeah, so I have to read through the thing because I'm not really sure what this, um, what the different things are used for, but that's nice. And then it came with two other things, oil-free moisturizer, and it doesn't look like it has SPF at all in it but it's one fluid ounces and the last thing I got was this little kind of chamois cloth thing and that was really a nice kind of additive because it doesn't show that it comes with that so I was really impressed with that it says that this is um this will work for thir within 30 days so by the end of next month I will tell you how it is before I go off to college and the, I'm just going to go through my derm store purchase really quick. Sorry, there's like, this is such a long haul. I thought it would be shorter and quicker, but it's kind of turning into a longer process thing. So I'm just going to try to go through quicker, through these quicker. Um, derm store gave me free stuff for doing an online purchase. They gave me two things, which were these two things, and they also gave me two subscriptions. I got Women's Health from them this past year. I'm going to get that. And then I got um, InStyle from them too, People in Style, which is nice. So I'm basically getting four subscriptions for free for a year from them, and I thought that was really cool to add in. The next thing they added was this oil serum. And it's just this small one. I actually got two of these by accident. Well, not by accident, but the first one kind of like spilled. And then they gave me another one that was securely in there, safe and not greasy and oily. Which was really nice of them because I don't know if most companies really would do that. And the next thing is this lip quencher. And it's thin to dry lips. Thin dry lips. And it's just this nice kind of lip gloss. The thing is it smells like pina colada or I'm just crazy and I'm craving pina colada, which I've been drinking the past like two days. So good. Um, the next thing is this Essie. It's um, this Modern Chic Manicure Free Polish Remover. So basically this was $16 from the Derm Store. And um, it came with two nail polishes, which are regular size. They're not like mini at all. And their nail polishes usually are $8 a pop. And this is just the regular. It's red, new wavy, or whatever. And it's just this really cute red. It kind of looks pinker on camera, but it's actually more this color red. And it's really cute. Um, these I kind of thought were like summery, but they could also go for, the red could go for more winter. But this is definitely a summery color. Splash of grenadine. Grenadine, I really don't know. I kind of butchered that. And it's just this purple. It's super pretty. And then on top of that, we got the Essie Nail Polish Remover, which is cute. It doesn't look like it leaks, but it's only like up to here full. So I don't know. Maybe that's just like how it starts as full, but it doesn't seem like it leaked. But that's cute as well and that was my derm store purchase it obviously came down really cheaper because this was 16 and that was 40 but I got it for 30 so I saved a lot of money in actuality I saved $25 from their coupon which was nice and then these other things I mostly got from Sephora because I'm really trying to get to the Sephora 
the Sephora, like, it's a VIP kind of thing. You get, like, you have to get, like, to three or four hundred points, and I'm slowly getting there. I'm trying to get there before the year, and the year ends, so then I can get, I think you get, like, discounts and stuff and all these fun things. Anyway, I got a ton of little kits. I got a little makeup bag from Benefit, and this Benefit stuff came in it. It was basically, uh, the Miss, it was kind of... I forget what it was called. It wasn't the Mr. Bright. It wasn't these other things. But it was, I think it was $30. I'm not really sure. And it comes with the Mella Bam, Bella Bamba. I don't know if I'm saying that right. But this is the first thing I got of theirs. This is obviously super popular. But this is 3D pink, it says. And it just comes with this with a little mirror. And this was basically for brightening. Everything I got was basically eye brightening. And I got the high beam, which is super cute. And I know it looks really small. And I was like, what the hell is this thing? Is it this, like, this tester or sampler? But honestly, this will last me so long because you just put, like, three dots on your apples if anybody didn't know. But I'm sure everybody knows. And this is the Stay Don't Stray, which I like a lot. And this is just an eye primer. And then... The only thing I don't like is that it kind of, it's like a pump, so it kind of comes out fast, and you really don't need that much. And the last thing it came with was this eye bright, and it's just an eye brightener kind of pencil thing, which I think is really helpful, and it works really well, too. So that's what I got in that little kit. I also got another little kit from there, um, which is the Tarte which is basically the Tarte, and it was like a primer thing. It was like $9, so I thought I would just pick it up because it was on that, um, when you go through the end of the, when you go to the checkout and there's like these snake lines, it is, I got the Clean Slate 360 Creaseless. So this is just an eye primer, which works really well, and I used a lot of that up. And then this is the brightening primer for your face, and then this is just the, um, perfecting primer for your face and this is for 12 hours it says but I don't really know by the hours that goes by that the next place I stopped by was Walmart which is where I got that Sally Hansen leg thing I also got a hard candy because I never really purchased anything from hard candy and I wanted to purchase a fox in a box but I really didn't feel like spending that or like I don't know buying that that day that I went in and this was just a bronzing kind of thing it came with this baked bronzer which is really cute it's kind of this goldish beads color and then I got this infused gold bronze for face and body and then it came with the face primer which I thought was really good which is mainly why I bought it because I not only wanted the baked bronzer but I also wanted the face primer and then the last thing was this lip gloss, which I did not use yet. Kind of is scared to use that. And this is a total miss, but I thought I would mention it. I was looking for a felt tip kind of liquid eye pen. I got this from Revlon. This hurts my eyelids so much. It's so stiff and hard. Um, and it's just hard to apply. So if anybody knows one of those like felt tip kind of things that you can use... I would really appreciate it if you commented it below or recommended it to me. The next thing I got because I went just went to the beach was this um, Voluminous Million Lashes and it's waterproof. And I really like this. It's super nice. Um, second to last thing that I got, sorry this is such a long haul. This is like the longest video I've ever done. Was this Revlon it's this kind of Revlon palette, and I heard that these work just as well as the Maybelline Color Stay Tattoo ones, which I have like two, I think I have like three of, and three or four of, and these I think are really pretty colors. They're kind of different, and it comes with a mirror, and it comes with like these, and they're just cream eyeshadows, and I got so tan that this actually matches my eyelid so you can't even see it when I apply it on. It's kind of crazy. Um, the next thing, oh yeah, there's three other things I got, sorry. This other thing I got from Sephora, I forgot to mention it. It was $9, I think. It was the Urban D-Slick 
oil control makeup setting spray and I love this to death. I was looking for a setting spray but I didn't want to buy the whole bottle and I didn't want to buy the other, I forget what it's called, the other brand of stuff because it was just too expensive and I just thought this small one would be perfect because it's perfect for travel size especially for the beach days especially if you just want to spray your face which is pretty much what I use it for. The next beauty thing I got was from Forever 21. I No, from from H&M. I pretty much am in love with this just because of the packaging. It's like this. And the really cool thing is the leaf started as a gold. As you can kind of see. Yeah, there you can see. And it started out as a gold leaf. And this super dark. Doesn't even do justice because it's darker than this. But it's super dark brown. And I wanted to try a different bronzer. And I never tried H&M's makeup really. And the last thing I got was this Hawaiian Tropic Silk Hydration, and it's just 12 SPF. I used this at the beach, and I reapplied it, which helps me not get sunburned and also protect my skin. And those are all the things that I got. Sorry, that was a really long haul. I just compiled a ton of stuff within this past two weeks basically and I spent so much money which means I won't be doing a haul anytime soon and that's it guys bye